you down and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing and what my plans are for the week ahead so let's crack on shall we? So I'll be perfectly honest with you I haven't done a lot of sewing over the last week and a half life has got in the way to be honest with you as you know i'm in the process of selling my house so we've had a couple of viewings which have gone really well um, and we've also been looking at a couple of other houses that have come up on the market so juggling that with work and the kids and everything it's been quite busy so yeah i just haven't really felt like sewing of an evening because i've been absolutely exhausted and just yeah other things have been taking priority and um, i've also applied for a new job with the company that I work for already so it's like an, a promotion so I've been planning for that I'm probably going to have an interview next week I think so yeah just a lot of life stuff going on um that have just got in the way so that's fine um but I have made some plans for next week and I have got a little bit of fabric to show you so let's crack on with that so I am going to my Staffordshire Sewing Social on Saturday and I cannot wait. I have missed those ladies so much. Um, I did go last time, but I didn't go to sew. I only went for an hour or so because I was going out with some friends to the theatre um, and it clashed with the March Social. Um, so I'm really looking forward to going and being able to sew and see all the ladies. Now, I am decided that I'm going to make my blouse for so april blouse now i did put a vlog out which i'll link up here um which was my inspiration and i think it was 10 patterns that i recommend for sewing as a blouse um but the one that i am going to make there was a lot of options and i'm still probably going to make some of them but the one that i wanted to go with is this ames shirt by Seamworks and I just really like the loose floaty style it's absolutely stunning on this model here and yeah it's just got some really lovely interesting detail and so the fabric that I'm going to be making this in is this Lady McElroy fabric it's all been washed and it's this shoe fabric I cannot remember the name of this fabric but I'll put it in it's something to do with shoes but this is the fabric that me and Becky both purchased and i'm just in love with it i need to find some buttons for it actually so hang on one second so those of you who watch through Wan and becky will know that um this little um button organizer is just amazing and i just copied them they both got one of these uh, and i've actually ordered one too to put all my buttons in so it gives me a little taste of all my gorgeous buttons are all organized um, now, unfortunately, I don't have any neon yellow buttons, which is kind of what I'm thinking for this. So I might have to purchase some new buttons. But I have got these ones, though, that actually are quite nice. Hang on a sec. They're like a rainbowy, black rainbowy colour. I don't know if you can see those. But I think I've only got four of those. That's the problem. Yeah, I think I've only got four. That would go quite well. Or gold buttons to pick up the gold. Mm. Yeah, I have to have a look. But yeah, that's my little button organiser that I got a few weeks ago. I had great fun putting all my buttons into there. And refining buttons that I didn't even know I had. I was like, oh, they're nice. Oh, actually, even these could work. These are like a gold with a black on. A bit boring, but they would work too. How many buttons have we got? <sighs> Looks like there's seven on there. Yeah, so I probably need seven buttons. But yeah, anyway, we're a long way off getting the buttons on, aren't we? So I need to cut this out. Now I've printed the pattern off. I've got to stick it together, which I'm going to try and do this evening. Um, and then I can cut this out at the social and start sewing it. But I think that's going to be a lovely shirt. looks great in the sunshine doesn't it so the second project that i've got in mind to perhaps take to the social is a bit of a palette cleanser i want to make a marlowe a cropped marlowe um, jumper in this fabric 
So this is the fabric that I saw Claire from Love's Red So um, make a little jumper out of at one of the socials I went to and I just loved it. So from a distance it looks like leopard print but up close it's faces. Now we all know faces and leopard print I love so combining them is just amazing. This green with the contrasting colours is perfect for me and I'm thinking this would make a nice little Marlowe. Um, cropped style cardigan and i have one and a half meters of this so it's all washed and ready to go and i'm thinking of doing either contrasting um neckband and cuffs and then i've got these buttons which are from jazz and wow from becky and they're like black with gold in and i think they'll look pretty goddamn good against that so yeah those buttons Oh, I'm an organiser. So yeah, so the Marlowe cardigan is by True Bias. I have made it before in an orange uh, fleece back French terry kind of fabric. I'll put a picture in here. And yeah, I um, wear that all the time. So I'm thinking that would look really nice. Wear it under a black t-shirt. Contrasting colours will be lovely. So that's maybe the plan. And I'm thinking actually I might actually take that along with me because it's probably more of a palette cleanser um and start with that than actually start with the blouse now i'm talking it through with you because actually when you've had a bit of time off sewing or i find when you've had a little bit of time off sewing it's always quite therapeutic to do some quick makes um yeah it makes you feel i don't know just makes you feel a little bit better when you um can have something made up quite quickly and as i'm talking that through with you now i just looked down and i saw some fabric that's all washed and ready to go that i'm thinking i might make a nail tea out of and that's this this was this fabric that i bought recently which is in like this banks's kind of style and i'm thinking if i take this with me and make a nail tea and also this and I'll be able to make up two little items and that might motivate me actually to come back and actually do my blouse um, in the week. Yeah, I'm thinking that through now and actually having a complex make or make you've not made before but sewing social can be quite difficult to concentrate. So actually I'm thinking I've made the nail, I've made the marlow. So let's get those cut out and take them to the sewing social. Right, that's the decision made. This is why it's so much good fun doing vlogs because it's actually speaking out loud your ideas i don't know it helps you to i'm not being very articulate today but speaking your ideas out loud it's like talking it through with a friend and obviously when you do that you kind of have light bulb moments and that's kind of what i've just had with you guys so thank you for listening um so yeah let's do a naya t-shirt by tammy handmade in the banksy fabric i might take it make it a little bit longer not so cropped because i've got a little bit more of this fabric um so yeah, I might make it, I might make it like this, kind of mid hip length, because I like to cover my bum, <laughs> but short sleeved. Love it, love it. Okay, so that's that. Um, right, I haven't, like I say, I haven't got any makes to show you. What I have got to show you though is some fabric that came. Now this is fabric that I purchased a long time ago, and it was part of a kickstart, um, Kickstarter with what vicky made so i've got this parcel come through recently and you can see that it's got what vicky made now vicky was from the sewing bee and she's recently recently launched her own line of fabric and her own line of labels and she was at the stitch festival showing the fabric but i purchased this a long long time ago it's probably a couple of months now um but the parcel has finally come through and the fabric that i have gone for oh you got this actually thank you so much for your order i can't wait to see what you make from my designs i'd love to see what you get to what you get up to um and it's 100 percent tensile fabric oh look and that's from vicky and it says thank you for supporting my kickstarter vicky that's really lovely and it's got all like the ladies of the sewing bee on there And then I got some Pigeon Wishing's buttons. They're exclusively ones for, big, and they're orange creams and like a red, deep reddy colour. Really, really nice. So they will go in my little stash. And then she's made some labels and there's a few different designs, but I went for these ones and it's basically sewers sewing. And it's got a little bumblebee on it. 
quite like. So I've got quite a few of those. And then the fabric, there was three different designs of fabric, but I, after having my colours done um, and knowing that bright colours that are contrasting suit me, and um, obviously I love an abstract, I went for this one. This is it. <sighs> Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I think I've got three and a half metres of this. So, yeah, I need to think of something to make in this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Part of me thinks it would make a great Etsy. No, not Etsy. I always say Etsy. 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 It would make a gorgeous Etsy by Tilly and the Buttons um, because... I've made this in a lawn and I do need to get the fit right on the top, but I think it'd make a really nice SD, Etsy, SD, I don't know, SD, SD, yeah. Um, a nice little top and trousers and then the trousers you could wear with um, the top set, for, the trousers you could wear with just a little black vest top and I think it'd be really nice and obviously three and a half metres would be plenty of fabric to do that. I just love all the colours, it's like um, obviously rainbows and suns and things but still quite abstract. So yeah, really, really like that. I've forgotten the name of this fabric, but I'll put it below. And then look, you can see you've got the little, I love her motif actually, what Vicky made. How cute's that? So yeah, that was my other little purchase. Look how much it lights my face up. It always makes me feel happy. And oh yeah, look, it's got like an eye there. It looks like an eye. Yeah, really nice fabric. So yeah, I'm thinking that would make a really nice, Etsy. <laughs> SD. <gasps> oh God, this would make a really nice SD. Yeah, SD. Honestly, it's so hard to say. You know what I mean? The two piece thing from Tilly and the Buttons. But yeah, and thinking about dresses that it would look nice in. Maybe a nice wrap dress. I've got this nice wrap dress from Atelier Jupe, and I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put a picture in. Might look quite nice as that, but then I think I'd have a little bit left over. I'm not sure how much that takes. Yeah, that would look, look quite nice, wouldn't it? What would I wear the most though? I think I'm gonna go for the SD. I said it. Yeah, the SD for me, I think. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be making. I'm actually gonna go and get that in the wash now because now I've talked this through with you, I'm feeling quite inspired. Yeah, let's get it in the wash. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about was a little video that you might have seen if you watch TikTok or Instagram. So the lovely Lisa from A Sewing Live contacted me um, about being taking part in a little vlog that she was putting together of 20 talented sewers, which I felt very um, honoured for her to ask me, um, and tips for sewing. So basically 20 vloggers filmed um, a couple of minutes of footage to go into this compilation um, vlog. And it's Lisa's from A Sewing Life. I don't know if I already mentioned that. That's her sew YouTube channel. And she's basically coordinated 20 of us and put us into this little sewing tips vlog. So I'll put the link to that down below, but it's got the likes of Ruan, uh, Rachel um, from Stitched Up. It's got Tamlin, it's got myself. It's got, I can't even think, um, So Sarah's Style. Um, it's got Crystal from my social thread. There's loads of us. So yeah, Fugalissima. So head over and check that out because it's a really great one. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link to it below uh, and please subscribe to Lisa's channel. And if you don't subscribe to all of the vloggers, then please subscribe to them as well. Okay, so that's a little bit of a short one for me this week. I do apologise, but I'm hoping to get a little bit more motivated to do my sewing over the next couple of, um, couple of weeks. Uh, and I can't wait to get my blouse done. I'd love to know how you guys are all getting on with your sewing for so April blouse 2024. Uh, let me know in the comments below. So I hope you've had a really good okay. week sewing, a better week than me anyway, and I hope you have a great week ahead of sewing too. And if you've liked this video, please click the like button. And if you don't subscribe already, you know what to do. Click the subscribe button and the like button. Mm -hmm.